Hey everyone, this is a quick review of the BMW i3 secret menu items and uh, explanation of what they do and uh, what is actually on that menu. It's uh, been hard for me to find information to describe all the different functions that are available, so I'll do my best to go through that right now. So to get into the secret menu, you need to take the service button on the side of the display, hold it down for roughly 10 seconds and at that point it will go ahead and uh, give you an access to the hidden menu so we should see it there it goes so you can go through several different settings uh, to unlock it hold the button down for two seconds to select it and the code is the last five digits of the VIN number added together so in my case, that's going to be 22. So I'll go ahead and once you have it, then hold it down just to select that. And now you've unlocked several more categories, although not all of them for some reason. And then it'll roll back around to the original ones again. In the menu system, the first item is number one, which is the information, and you can see there's a conversion index. And I think what that is is the uh, number of pulses from the uh, wheels and converting that into mileage. And then there's the uh, software version, which is item number two. And then the next one is the VIN number for the vehicle. Uh, next one is HMI version, which I think is for your iDrive. And then back to the conversion index, it rolls back around. Uh, next one's a system test, and what that does is it, uh, is a di diagnostic for the screen, and I won't do that right now. So if you select roller mode, which I will do right now, it's going to ask you if you want dynamic stability control off. And what that's going to do is uh, disable the automatic compensation for your driving. It allows you to uh, spin out and do some other things. You can check videos online. Uh, if you press it, though, you'll get a bunch of odd uh, error codes, so I'll do that right now. So to disable it, you'll see the error code on the main screen. But basically, to disable it, you have to turn the uh, car off because uh, a bunch of things are uh, disabled uh, for this particular test. So we'll go ahead and uh, turn the car off. And hopefully, those error codes will go away. I was thinking about it. Yeah, there we go. So it resets it back to normal. So we're going to go on down to the uh, fuel tank and battery submenus. Take a look at that real fast. So by pushing the button, you select that menu items, and you can see it's the gas tank right and left, which is the uh, settings for the gas tank on the Rex, and the total uh, liters it uh, contains, and phase. Then it goes through the bat kappa max, which is the calculated maximum capacity of the battery, the uh, battery current level, which is 88%, and uh, current amount of kilowatt hours left and battery display which is uh, not selectable along with uh, the tank left is not selectable. The uh, temperature settings have the O temperature setting which I think is outside temperature based on those settings. The coolant temperature, the oil temperature, uh, battery temp which is a, the uh, high voltage battery. So that's what you have in that menu selection. Uh, board computer zero it resets the uh, all the current uh, trip computer settings. Uh, we'll go back and look at that in a minute. Uh, then correction factor, which let's see if I select that, uh, is based on uh, what information I can find. It's related to the uh, fuel consumption rate um, and settings for that to adjust. So we won't play with that right now. So we'll go down to the 
BC init board computer initialization, so it resets all of the internal settings for the board computer, which is the trip computer, range uh, consumption rates, uh, range set, uh, uh, predicted so far. So if I go ahead and do that, it's a uh, quick push. You can see it resets all those uh, initial settings. So one of the forums I looked at, it mentioned that uh, resetting that might actually change might actually change the uh, bat kappa max, and uh, uh, we'll take a look at that in just a second as well. Let's get, once I get out of this menu, and let's see, I think I have to long press it to get out. And yeah, there we go. So if we go back to the uh, battery menu, fuel tank battery menu, and take a look real quick. Uh, let's see, let's go back around. Okay, fuel tank, battery, hold it down to select. And we can see that it actually does not affect the uh, battery capacity max or the other settings in that menu. So that doesn't appear to be uh, the case. If we go into the uh, BC or board computer zero, you can see now that all of those settings have been zeroed out. Distance counters, uh, liters used. Uh, so all, all zeroed out for those menu selections. I think I did that by resetting the initial, reinitializing the board computer earlier. So it looks like after doing the BC reset in the hidden menu, the values for the Eco Pro Plus range and the Eco Regular range actually went up. So that's kind of interesting. Go back to Comfort at 65, and that's at uh, I think 87%. Let's go through this real quick. Yeah, 87% uh, battery life, which is pretty decent considering where it's at. The uh, battery cap, as we showed earlier, did not change, so that does not affect that. But <clears throat> it looks like it reset the uh, trip computer and all of the uh, defaults in the monitor. So we'll have to see what happens as I start to accumulate time in miles again and see what it does. So after a few days of driving, after doing the reset of the uh, board computer, it looks like the Eco Pro Plus is still holding a little bit higher at near 82 miles after fully charged at 63 degrees outside. So it may have uh, gained a little bit after resetting. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why. So I'll continue to monitor it, but uh, just a piece of information.